now we are going to discuss about deal in detail about LP2148 controller which is going to contain ARM7 processor architecture okay and what is the acronym of LPT is nothing but low power consumption okay and what is an acronym of ARM is nothing but advanced rate mission okay now let us go in detail about this particular LP2148 controller okay coming to the features of this particular LP2148 controller. This LP2148 controller is going to contain 40 kV of on static RAM and 500 kV of on chip ROM. Okay, and I think in the previous uh, uh, H0 controller uh, videos, we have explained what is the mean of this particular RAM as well as from inside our H0 controller. Okay, and coming to the processor, what is the processor frequency available? In the LPS2148 control is nothing but 60 megahertz uh, clock, which we are directly giving from uh, ARM7 processor. Okay, and it is going to support in system programming via ARM chip bootloader. <coughs> and, and it is going to contain 8 KB RAM of USB, and it is going to contain 8 KB of RAM used by the USB by direct memory access. And coming to the peripherals okay and how many peripherals it is going to contain is nothing but two ADCs and one DAC I think you are uh, you know and what is the meaning of this particular ADC those are nothing but and lots of digital converters okay and it is going to contain and one digital to analog converter and coming to the timers how many timers it is going to contain is nothing but two 32 bit timers okay and coming to the how many Capture channels as well as match channels that are going to contain in this controller are four. Four match channels along with four capture channels. And what is the use of match channels? Is, is and if you want to match this particular um, timer counter register with the particular register, we are going to use this particular match channel. What is the use of capture channels? Is if you want to capture particular pulse which is generated by the the processor um, switch loss later we are going to use this particular capture and coming to the GPIOs. GPIOs are divided into two blocks. Those are nothing but fast GPIOs as well as the slow GPIOs. And it is going to contain one fast GPIO. And coming to the watch timer, watch for timer. And what is the use of watch for timer is nothing but it is automatically resetted the entire the CPU by using this particular watch for timer. And it is also contain on internal real time clock. Okay, and coming to the serial interface protocols, it is going to contain two UARTs, those are nothing but universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter, and two I2Cs in inter integrated circuits, and two SPA. And <coughs> what is the acronym of SPA is serial peripheral interface. The acronym of the UART, I2Cs, and SPS, these are deal in detail in the next coming slides. Next coming or next coming video. Okay, and coming to the voltages, how much voltage is uh, controller is going to support is nothing but from 3 to 3.6. Okay, and coming to the pin configuration of this LP2148 controller is totally contains of 64 pins. Okay, in these 64 pins, we are dedicating 48 pins to the general purpose input output pins okay and these 64 pins are again divided into two ports and what are those ports are nothing but port 0 as well as port 1 count is 2 and numbering is 1 okay and these two ports are equally divided each port is containing 32 pins okay port 0 is containing 32 pins as well as port 1 is containing 32 pins but whereas Port 1 from 1 port uh, 1.0 1. 1. to 1.15 are dedicated for the next coming versions of LP2148. So that only from port 1.16 to 1.31 will be in active position. Those are nothing but we can use only port 1.16 to 1.31. So totally we are having port 0 32 pins as well as Port 1, 16 pins. Totally, we are getting only 48 pins out of the 64 pins. Okay. 
and coming to the how we are going to use these particular four pins as a general purpose input of the pin is nothing but we can see these configuration we need some register for activation these were pins as a, as a general purpose input of the pin okay and coming to the registers what are those registers and how we are going to use this particular register for making d48 pins a general purpose input or output pins is nothing but we are going to see in the next coming slide see here these are the general purpose input or output register what are those registers is nothing but pin cell register okay this is a pin cell register what is the meaning of pin cell register is nothing but <coughs> by using this particular pin cell register we are going to select that particular pin okay you see each pin if you are going to take port 0.0 okay each pin containing four configuration you can see port 0.0 can act as a gpio port as well as transmitter as well as pwm and as well as reserve we can work each single pin in multiple ways okay so how we are going to select if i want to select port 0.0 as a gpio i want to make 0 0 where i want to make this 0 0 is nothing but in the pin cell register okay pin cell register is divided into three parts pin cell 0 pin cell 1 as well as pin cell 2 okay each pin cell register that is another the pin cell 0 if you are taking it is going to contain 32 bits pin cell 1 32 bits pin cell 2 32 bits pin cell 0 is going to reflect pin cell 0 reflects the activation from port 0.0 to port 0.16 because we are having 32 bits so when port 0 is containing totally 32 pins but in that 32 pin only port 0.0 to port 0.16 are dedicated to the pin cell register 0 okay because each pin occupies two bits in the pin cell register okay if you are going to keep 0 0 you are going to make as gpio 0 1 transmitter 1 0 pwm okay similarly port 0 okay 0 0 as gpio 0 1 as receiver 1 0 as pwm okay the process continues okay and coming to the pin cell 1 register as i told you pin cell 1 register is dedicated from port 0.16 to port 0.32 okay and here also port 0.16 is dedicated to the pin cell 1 register which is 0 and first bit of pin cell 1 register similar to that of pin cell 0 register okay and finally you can see a get the conclusion that pin cell 0 register is dedicated to the port 0.0 to port 0.16 okay and pin cell 1 register is dedicated to the port 0.16 to port 0.32 okay whereas coming to the pin cell 2 register it is dedicated port 1.16 to port 1.31 okay this is how we are going to configure the pin cell register and finally i am going to say what is the exact use of uh, pin cell register is nothing but for selecting the operation of a single pin whether it's going to work as gpio a transmitter or receiver or pwm whatever we are going to use that particular pin cell register simply you can say for selecting the operation of the pin we are going to use pin cell register okay and coming to the remaining register next register is nothing but direction register what is the use of this particular direction register is nothing but for setting the direction direction for setting the direction of single pin or multiple pins we are going to use this particular io dvr register whether we want to make a input as well as an output we are going to use this particular io dvr register in this io dvr register also, we are having two parts that is the io dvr 0 as well as io dvr 1 okay io dvr 0 and io dvr 1 IODR zero is dedicated for port zero, and IODR one is dedicated for the port one. Okay, and next is nothing but 
IO set register. What is the use of the, this IO set register is nothing but for making the voltages high for the particular pin we are going to use this particular IO set register. But we cannot make that particular pin as zero. Okay. And if you are in order to make that particular pin as zeros, again we need to use another register that is nothing but IO clear register. So for setting and clearing, we are having two registers, IO set as well as IO clear. And next we are having an IO pin register. And what is the use of IO pin register? Nothing but the current state of the GPIO configured four pins can always be read from this particular register regarding the pin direction. Without the direction of the pin, if you are going to configure or not configure, directly these whatever the values you are setting in the IO pin register, that are directly going to reflect on the pin. Okay. Finally, I can say that IO DR is setting the direction, input as well as an output. IO set is setting the voltages on the particular pin. IO clear is clearing for the voltages. Whereas coming to the IO pin is used for directly contacting with the pin regarding less of the direction of pin. Okay. And next coming to the fast GPIO. As I told you in the previous slide, the GPIOs are divided. The GPIO block is divided into two parts. Fast GPIO as well as the slow GPIO. Up to now we have discussed about the slow GPIO. And coming to the fast GPIO. Same, we are having fast direction register, fast set register, fast clear register and fast pin. Okay. As we have discussed direction, set, clear and pin. And externally, other than the slow GPIO, we are having another register that is nothing but mask register. Okay. And what is the use of this particular mask register is nothing but it is an intermediate register which is going to connect fast GPIO block with the pin. That is the use of this particular fast mask register. You know, if you are making pin high in this particular mask register, there you are, you are not going to have any effect on the pin. Okay, and when it is having a zero, we can have a directly effect on this particular master register. Next, coming to the system control is how we can differentiate between a fast GPIO and a slow GPIO is nothing but based upon system control status register. Okay, so by using this particular system control status register, zero is the base. We are going to configure that particular uh, the whole GPIO block as well as as a fast. GPO register, uh, fast GPO block. And the for, for, um, first bit of the system control status register, we are going to make the 4 to 1 as an fast GPO. Depends upon the usage, we can use 4 0, 4 to 1 as fast GPO or a slow GPO. And if you are making 0 in the particular 0 is a bit, it is going to work as slow GPO. If you are making 1, the 0 is a bit, it is going to work as fast GPO. Similarly, the first bit. First bit will be first bit will reflect port one and zero s bit will reflect the port zero. Okay, and coming to we are taking a small example how we are going to toggling. The toggling is nothing but making on and off the LEDs. Okay, see here, patch include LPC two one four X order. This is nothing but header file which we are going to include all the registers which are present in our LPS21 for example. And next coming to the void main. Okay. And what is the you whenever we are declaring the void main directly the compiler comes directly into the main function. Here we are selecting the particular pin. Pin cell 0 is equal to 0 x 4 zeros and followed by a 4 zeros. So all the port 0 pin works as a GPIO. As I told you in the previous slide, if you want to make port 0.02, 0 0.15 as a, as a general purpose input output to pin, we are going to use the pin cell 0, okay, as all the zeros, okay. Next, we are setting a direction, okay, by using IO 0 DAR, okay. All the port 0 pins are acting as an output pin. If we are going to make zeros, they are going to work as an output. If we are going to make as 1, they are going to work as an input, okay. And Again, we are entering into the while one loop. Okay, and in the while one loop, we are making I O set is equal to zero F zero 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 F yes 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 followed by eight F. Pending logic one, the all port zero pins. 
okay and delay what is the meaning of delay is nothing but on wait for some time and again off that is the waiting time is nothing but a delay okay then what is the exact use of delay is nothing but our naked eye cannot able to see the voltages on this particular thing so that we are may we are stopping the particular voltages for some particular time by using this particular delay function and again we are clearing and again it delay we are going to see and again it comes to the io set we going to make high again delay and again make it off and again delay this is how the while one is going to make an infinite loop okay and next this is the delay prototype i'm saying in for i is equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus for j is equal to 0 j less than 50000 j plus plus so that our naked eye is visible to see the particular voltages on the pins okay this is how we are going to work on these particular gpos okay thank you